Hello watch fans, Berth here watches here and this time for you we have a circa 1922 Hudson Maxim and this is a pocket watch by Bulliver. Now you can see that the dial has some patina but it's quite even. Now the case is by Star Watch Company and it was gold filled so this isn't a solid gold case it was guaranteed for 25 years, which ran out in 1947. But look, even the bow still got the pattern on there. It's not had a hard life, this. I think there is a dent on the case back somewhere, which is hardly uncommon. And then if we open it up, there's the information about the Star Watch Company on the case back, 14 karat gold filled. And then there's the movement, ticking away nicely. Five adjustments, so adjusted in different positions. And you've got a swan neck regulator for fine, micro fine adjustment. You've also got these chantons. Now these uh, hold the jewels in place and just do a slightly, slightly better job than putting it straight into the bridge. Now it costs more to put the chantons in but they did it so this is a fine timepiece we know it's from 1922 by the serial number on the movement which isn't always 100% on earlier Bullivers but you've also got Bulliver and W Co or Bulliver W dot Co W Co um, 1923 it changed to Bulliver Watch Co It's keeping quite good time for its age. If you want a really precise timekeeper, then buy a modern watch. Uh, if you want something stylish, and the other thing with this is it's only 43 mil across, side to side. So that's the size of a modern wristwatch. You can get adapters to wear this as on a sort of leather cuff and wear it as a wristwatch, which opens up the possibilities of using it a bit more but it's a very nice watch. Uh, Hudson Maxim, by the way, was an inventor. Invent the most uh, famous thing he invented was uh, smokeless gunpowder. And his brother was an inventor, and he invented the Maxim machine gun, which, with gunpowder and machine guns, just after the First World War had ended, they were rightly celebrated. Or rightly or wrongly, whichever way you look at it. Depends which side you were on. It's available now at birthyearwatches.com and from what we read on the internet, quite difficult to find one of these. Thanks for watching.